Greetings guys, this is Irish again. In this video I thought I would show you an uh, interesting program that uh, Kira from the last video's uh, LDC Now uh, brought to my attention. It's called Task Warrior. So this is a to-do list type of application for the Linux terminal. So if we go to their website uh, it just tells you it's a to-do list for the command line um, and then coming down it just gives you quick demonstration which I'll do and then it also shows you how to install it on uh, different uh, platforms so different uh, distributions sorry so it is on nearly every single one including Mac OS X, even Windows 10 through the Bash, um, Arch Linux, Slackware, Gentoo, Savion, Free, BSD, Ubuntu. So only through Debian SID do you actually call it Task Warrior. Uh, everything else it's just Task. And it is in uh, it's in all of the major repos. So let's see what this uh, looks like here. So if we just open up a terminal, I actually was playing around with this so I can show you what I've been doing uh, since I learned about this maybe last week. Um, so if I just say task add and say buy milk this will create a task. So now if we do a task list, you'll see right here that it's uh, by milk. Uh, so uh, the one that I did two weeks ago, I was saying to do a YouTube video. So that can be done. So to say, we just do task one and then done. And then, as you can see, it says completed. And then, if we do a task list, you can see that the only one that's left is to buy milk tomorrow. Um, there is others like task uh, calendar. Uh, that's not how you spell calendar. Um, so there's others. So if we go into the man page actually gives uh, a bunch of um, samples here. Uh, you can actually filter to all of them. So if we do say uh, completed, let's exit out, task completed, you can see how which ones you've done, uh, when it was completed, and how long it took you to do it. So this is a fairly interesting program. Again, haven't had much time since being told about this, how to do it, but you can filter this, uh, say, task by food, and then uh, you could put it as, say, do on Monday or whatever. Forget the exactly what the command is. It is in the man page. Uh, let me see here. And you can differ, You can call different programs or projects. So home. Um, and then you can do active, all, uh, the count, export this uh, using Python. So it's quite intuitive. Um, I knew this was going to be a quicker video since I didn't get to play with it uh, as as old or uh, as uh, much as I wanted to due to some you know personal stuff uh, I haven't been able to um, but I really truly wanted to talk uh, about like a channel update type of thing since this the creation of this channel um, back about two years ago I started uh, doing videos in between our LDC now um, shows at the time just so it gives our viewers um, 
something else to watch, but once that uh, was, um, you know, canceled the first time around, I felt it upon myself to continue it because uh, at the time it seemed like my videos were getting more views than our LDC Now videos. If you go back to our the beginning of our videos, you could see where I started amongst the LDC Now videos, and you could see I was getting more views than ours. So I thought, you know, I thought I would do this, but for the last two years, you know, I've been building this channel up, and I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out by it. Um, so I would call for help. So if any of you guys wanting to possibly start doing YouTube videos, uh, Linux videos, uh, show people how to set up like your desktop environment, your window manager, or just to uh, show people how to do general stuff in Linux, like set up a server or a router or whatever, I'm looking for help to, you know, have another person uh, to be alongside me because really this is a community and I would like to have more than just like one person doing videos. So if you guys are interested in helping me out with this channel, um, please uh, either leave it down in the comments below or if you go to the uh, LDC or Linux Distro Community or Irish Luck 83 uh, and leave a message. Uh, I'm always on but I may not respond because I do have a IRC bouncer that I'm on so even if I'm sleeping I'm always on so please leave a message if you guys are interested I do hope I can get at least one maybe two people to, to do videos alongside me I just feel obligated to uh, produce videos for you guys it is fun but you know trying to balance videos and my family time it's a little harder plus you know maybe you guys have better ideas than what I do so uh, please let me know and then the second thing is if you're wanting to follow me on Twitter uh, let me uh, show you uh, what my Twitter handle is this will be my uh, personal one it's a uh, Michael Boyle 316 so why I'm asking her if you guys want to follow me my bigger thing is I'm not going to probably be doing much videos in the upcoming months because I'm going to start to attempt Linux from scratch so I'm gonna to try to do like a daily blog uh, on my experience through it so if I have any issues going into it um, I'm going to, uh, you know, blog about it on my Twitter page. So if you guys are curious how that's going, please follow me. Um, I try not, I'm trying to use Twitter more um, just as a, as a thing. I've had it for two years. Usually I do, uh, uh, you know, just follow people and stuff like that. So but I'm going to try to actually tweet more. Uh, the second thing is I've been on Gentoo here, this iteration, for about two or three months. So last month I decided to join the Gentoo security team, so I'm doing that too. So I'm trying to find bugs and stuff like that. So that's what's taking up a lot of my time. Plus, you know, my son is talking and learning so much, and then I'd rather spend time, you know, seeing his development and you know, him growing up. Uh, and then the third thing on here is um, if you guys, uh, I have Arch Linux on my other laptop, but some of my ideas I would want to show you guys how to uh, make like GNOME, Mate, KDE look pretty, like do like a beginner's guide on how to, you know, configure GNOME. But 
uh, instead of it being on Arch, I'd rather have it to be on another distro, but I would like to f have you guys decide the distro that you want to see. Plus, I would want to maybe remake my configuring i3 video. So if you guys want me to put Fedora, Solus, um, OpenSUSE, any other distro besides Arch or Gentoo, uh, I can do that and show you guys how to configure any of the desktop environments or window managers. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions which distro I should put on the laptop, please put them down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.